Okay, I'll be working on using generator functions in Python to generate uh, instructions for the robot while it's printing, while it's moving. But I've got this bug. And I'm just making this quick video to record this weird behavior um, so I don't think I'm going insane. So it seems that only the Y axis is affected and it goes through these weird speed cycles. It's like a, like a sawtooth. Speed goes up and then it goes and only seems to affect that axis and um, it's really weird. I don't get it. Um, if I could be bothered I'd send a g-code that would move the arm this arm independently of this arm and this strange stepwise motion, this sawtooth motion wouldn't happen um, but I'm just going to put a link to this video in my comment and I'll come back and solve this later. It's something to do with a try accept block inside a tight loop in MicroPython. It, I think it, this might be garbage collection kicking in every second or half a second or something and that's having performance impacts something I, I honestly the piece of code that I comment out to fix this bug isn't even in the code path it's just in the source file that's being run but um, if I comment out that piece of code everything's great um, and the try accept block there is to catch the um, stop iteration exception from the generator so I can tell when the generator has run out of coordinates to provide the robot. So what I'm going to have to do is specify that generators must provide an end g-code once they're done generating and if we call the generator again after that it's going to throw an exception. That's what I'm going to have to do. And the uh, version of the next call, the next method in MicroPython does not have a second optional argument for what to return from the next if the generator is empty. So the only way to find out if a generator is empty is to call it and then catch the exception, but I can't catch the exception without this bug happening. So I'm just going to specify that you must return an end at the end of a G-code. Okay, bye.